We turn now to Black History Month. Starting February 12th, right here on Vegas PBS, tune in to see the inspiring documentary, Hollywood's Architect, the Paul R. Williams story. Concerned that white clients might be uncomfortable sitting next to him while he illustrated his ideas, Williams developed a unique skill that would become his trademark. I spent hours learning to draw upside down. Then with a prospective client seated across from me, I would begin to sketch the living room of his house. Invariably, his interest would be excited by this trick. Paul Revere Williams was the first black architect to become a member of the American Institute of Architects. He was known as the architect to the stars, but because of his race, was not allowed to frequent the buildings he designed. Nevada Week's Maria Silva joins us now. And Maria, Williams designed nearly 3,000 buildings, several of them right here in Nevada. Amber, how lucky are we? We can actually find some of his fascinating architectural designs all over our state, the entire state of Nevada, Northern and Southern Nevada. In fact, Mr. Williams was first commissioned to design a home in Reno for a Mrs. Luella Garvey back in 1934. The Garvey house still stands today. Here in Las Vegas back in 1949, he designed the first African-American housing development in historic Berkeley Square neighborhood. He also designed a seashell shaped motel and a cathedral on the Las Vegas Strip. This exhibition is called Jana Ireland on the Architectural Legacy of Paul Revere Williams in Nevada. These stunning black and white photographs adorn the walls of the Nevada State Museum, a celebration of Mr. Paul Revere Williams' work in both Northern and Southern Nevada. Not only would he build these luxurious homes, hotels, commercial properties, but he had a mindset of actually developing homes just so that people of all socioeconomic levels, all colors and classes can enjoy the comfort of their own home. Carmen Beals, associate curator and outreach director with the Nevada Museum of Art, traveled with Jonna Ireland as a talented photographer captured these breathtaking images. My favorite place that's a go-to for everyone is the historic west side. There you can see Berkeley Square where you, he's developed 148 want single-story homes. Mr. Williams's work in Nevada spans from the 1930s through the 1970s and includes the Guardian Angel Cathedral built in 1963. A-framed mid-century modern cathedral that it is a must-see and it stands right on the strip. The Guardian Angel Cathedral, one of several structures Mr. Williams designed on the Las Vegas Strip. La Concha was the, um, the, the, the lobby, the reception area for the La Concha Motel that was right across from Circus Circus on the Strip. Uh, it was built in 1961 by Paul Revere Williams, um, and it's a great example of googie architecture. It was that futuristic style of architecture influenced by car culture and space age that Aaron Berger, executive director at the Neon Museum, says allowed the La Concha to compete with the grandeur of the other strip properties. La Concha is Spanish for the, the shell or seashell. Um, and if you look at the building and the design, it does. It's exactly like this kind of um, Venus on the half shell sort of look to it. The Neon Museum went through great lengths to preserve this iconic piece of Las Vegas architectural history. If you can imagine kind of slicing it like an orange and cutting it into eight pieces, putting those eight pieces onto a series of flatbed trucks and then reassembling it here, as our visitor center. Back at the Nevada State Museum, you'll be able to experience the exhibit until May 30th, a beautiful tribute not only highlighting Mr. Williams's work in Nevada and the legacy he leaves behind. And those homes have been passed down from generation to generation. Here, you'll also learn more about his incredible life story. He was known as the architect to the stars, but racial covenants would not allow him to live in that area. The exhibit opened to all ages, all in hopes of inspiring future generations of architects. Right now, less than 5% of architects are people of color. So just to have this option and show kids 
of all colors that this is a career choice that's available to you, that is what warms my heart. And speaking of inspiring, our future architects, the Neon Museum, uh, is holding a very special event on the 18th. Kids will learn more about Mr. Williams and they'll even get to create their very own dream home blueprints. How fun would that be? Now on the 17th, Nevada State Museum hosting Through the Lens, honoring the architectural legacy of Paul Revere Williams, where you will be able to meet the photographer, Jonna Ireland. And we have all the information on our website. It's so great that we're honoring this great man. And then also February 18th marks what would have been Williams 129th yeah. birthday. I understand the state plans to proclaim that day, Paul Revere Williams Day. And there's this another special event that day in Berkeley Square, which you mentioned in your story. Yeah. Yeah, the Nevada Preservation Foundation, they're hosting a 45 minute guiding walking tour through Berkeley Square, that neighborhood. It's so historic. And as we heard there in that piece, it's so special again that those 148 homes, a lot of them have been passed down from generation to generation. He designed both for the wealthy and the average yes, person. How neat.